In this video, I will show you how to delete Fortnite on the Epic Games Launcher. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, I'm on the desktop and I've got the Epic Games Launcher opened at the moment. So to actually uninstall Fortnite, what you're going to want to do is come across to your library. So that's over here on the left hand side. Give that a click and that's going to load up all your currently installed games. So you can see we have Fortnite down here. Now what you're going to want to do from here is actually click onto the three dots down here underneath the picture of Fortnite. And then from here, you're just simply going to want to come and click onto uninstall. Next, all you want to do is click the blue uninstall button and after that's uninstalled, there's something else you do need to check as well to make sure it's fully uninstalled from your system. So we can see that's now been uninstalled because it's now just saying install instead of launch underneath Fortnite. So that's all done, but what we want to do is make sure there's no files or folders left. And to do this, what we're going to do is come to the search bar in the bottom left hand corner. Give that a click and then we're going to open up File Explorer. So in this search box you want to type File Explorer and open up the app that comes up here. From here what you're going to want to do is locate this PC. So we can see that's down here in the left hand side. And what you're going to want to do is go to your C drive. And then you're going to want to go into Program Files. Next what you're going to want to do is go into Epic Games. And as you can see, the folder and the game has been removed fully. Sometimes with some games, it does leave a few files and folders behind. So you always want to check this in the file explorer as well, to just to make sure that all the files, folders and everything related to the game has been fully installed from your system. So I hope this video tutorial helped you out today. If it did, as I say, I'd really appreciate it. If you were to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.